Hey everyone, my name is Dustin. Welcome to my channel, Nick Flip and Ship. I'm really excited for you to be here today because today we're going to look at how to take our 35mm cameras and turn them into the most amount of money possible on eBay. So, let's make some money. So if you've ever done any kind of research on film cameras, you may have noticed that some of them go for maybe twice as much almost sometimes. Um, Usually you'll notice that if they say film tested in the title that generally you can get a little bit more. And so if you're able to actually film test them and find out that um, all the functions are working, um, they're not going to all of a sudden go through a roll of film and then find out that the auto rewind doesn't work and then that their film is ruined or something. So you want to be sure that you're going to give your customer something that's going to work. So here's a little pile of money, uh, as I'd like to call it, because this is some pretty good stuff here. I got this nice uh, Minolta with a really nice lens here. There's a Canon Sure Shot uh, 130U2 in here, which is similar to the one that I sold for about $75. Um, Chinon, I've uh, sold one of this brand before, actually sold pretty quickly. Um, and a few more cameras here, uh, they're all needing testing. Um, in order to do that, um, I needed to order a few more batteries that I've come across that I still need. Uh, so if we look here, um, of course you got your uh, basic double A's, your basic triple A. Look for also the 123, CR123s, those are going to be common. In the film cameras, this is the A23 battery. Just another uh, battery that you might run into for testing something at some point. The C2 CR5, which is sort of like two of these, but they're just together. Um, another similar to that is the 223, which is one single battery, but kind of two. And the CR2s which are just a little bit smaller than the 123s. You might be able to find um, in your area, of course, different uh, stores or batteries plus, of course, if you're um, willing to pay a little more. Otherwise, uh, Amazon, you can you know, order them from Amazon and eBay. You're gonna need a couple different types of rolls of film. Um, no, just like the standard 35 millimeter. Um, you can reuse these, and that is the coolest thing because then you don't have to like spend an entire roll of film um, just testing one camera. So I'll show you how to do that. And then also the um, this type here, and I'll show you how to reset these. It's much easier. Yeah, so with these uh, standard 35 millimeter film canisters. Um, you can see with this one, I've used this one about, I don't know, six, seven times, and I kind of damaged it a little bit on the very tip there, so I don't know if I'll be able to use this one again, but I will show you that um, basically what you do is you just pry this open, um, you can kind of, you can do it with your fingertips sometimes, but you just get like a little tweezers, um, you can get in there, get enough of a space. To where you can um, see the film in there once it's rolled back up and then you can take a tweezer and stick one end in there and kind of pull it out and then bam you can reuse your film and with these uh, like Kodak Advantix um, style Right here, um, there's like a little number thing right here, and they each got different shapes, um, and it says what it is. The circle is unexposed, so that means it's uh, ready to go. And then it'll move over here once you get it in the camera and start using it to partially exposed, and the X is fully exposed. So then that's what it'll come out with uh, once you've used all of the pictures. Uh, this particular one is uh, 25 exposures and then I suppose once you took it to the thing and got it processed it moved to that. 
But all you need to do, once it's uh, taken out of the camera and you got it on the X there, um, you just find something they can um, put right in the middle here and just twist it. And it will just, uh, see now it's moved um, to four. So we'll just move it back to a circle, the unexposed, and then you're ready to use it again. Pretty sweet. All right, so what else we got here besides this Minolta? So, we got this uh, Canon SureShot 130U2. Also, another Canon SureShot 76 Zoom SAF. Chinon 35M dash AF. Nikon Teletouch 300 AF. Cool AF. Alright, so let's uh, test out this Canon SureShot 130U2 here. Make sure this works. Um, there's already a, when I got it, there's already a battery in there. Uh, looks like it's about to die. So we all needed the CR2. works the uh, lens is doing its autofocus oh, looks like I got a timer in here I'm not gonna want to do that for every single shot it will take forever yes yeah, definitely gonna be taking the flash off here now <laughs> To um, basically reuse the or use the whole roll film to make sure that the uh, auto uh, auto rewind is going to work. Just everything else is functioning. Uh, trying all the buttons. This is the only part. I mean, it takes a while to sit and take pictures and um, fully test this, but you know, you're gonna have the peace of mind knowing that you're giving your customers a piece of equipment that's gonna work. There, it's very unlikely that they're gonna return it because everything's functioning, pro functioning properly. Um, it's just gonna give you peace of mind. You're gonna be able to get top dollar then saying that your camera is film tested and ready to go. Oh, there we go. At the last exposure, it's now out of rewinding. Alright, 
this thing is fully functioning. As far as I can tell, everything is working very smoothly, very nice. So I'm gonna be able to uh, very confidently say an excellent, great working condition. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a, a nice sell. When I go to uh, take pictures though, of course, uh, you want to get everything cleaned up. So um, have your uh, cloths ready. Got your... If you ever need to uh, wipe off the lens, be very careful. I'd recommend just doing a um, air duster on the lens. Just blowing it off really, really good. And if you have to, like absolutely have to touch the lens, but otherwise I wouldn't. Um, but have a nice soft cloth, uh, soft cloth just in case, especially if we're doing the uh, LCDs or so digital cameras, the screens, it's nice to have one of those. Also a barely dampened cloth, of course, just to wipe any uh, surface uh, grime off. Um, and then this to uh, dry it, sort of buff it, give it a good shine, get it ready for picture day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there you go. Hope that was helpful. Um, I hope this helps you make um, twice as much money when you go to sell your 35 millimeter cameras. Um, side note, while testing this other uh, can ensure shot that there was already a roll of film in there and it's only 12 exposures find yourself a roll of 12 exposure film to do this with and then you only have to take 12 pictures instead of 24 or 25 half the time good deal well, that about wraps up today's video guys thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it uh, thanks for hanging out this long and hope you found some value in this uh, if you did don't forget to hit like, uh, subscribe, perhaps share if you know somebody else that might find this info helpful. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, once again, uh, congratulations on your latest uh, camera sales. And uh, until next time, my hat's off to you.